You are now about to hear the hair track, and you are about to get your soul snatched right here on Hair Trappers and Soul Snatchers. Talking shit. You know what I mean? Today we're talking about love. It's gonna be a whole lot of motherfucking this. Shit, man. I'm gonna kill that nigga that I'm gonna marry. <laughs> so that <laughs> give me sucker. every it's time. It's gonna be a lot of sucker attacks. That give me going every on. time. And all we talk about love. Welcome in. Tune in to episode seven Hair Trappers and Soul Snatchers, where we talk about relationships. We talk about cosmetology, barbers, and stylists. And we do our thing. I say we pretty lit. What y'all say? I'm lit as a bitch. I'm lit as a bitch. I said we. I said we, and you said you. Yeah, I'm saying me. So they gonna speak for themselves. We lit. We all <laughs> lit. You just spoke all of us. We all lit. You a selfish yeah. person, bro. I'm not you selfish, bro. What the fuck? I've been noticing yeah, about you lately. Like you are her ass today, ain't you? The JR, what's going on, man? On my ass like back Shit, pocket. I can't call <laughs> it. I can't call it, man. What's going on? on? Man, they been having fights at Midtown, at the late front. Shootings. Like, shootings, yeah, man. Somebody yeah. somebody it was like a hundred died. rounds. Somebody died. Somebody, somebody died. Two people died. Two people, I ain't yeah. even know about yeah. that. Listen, I'm telling you, I think you I'm talking really like a vampire. You you there with your ratchet I, ass. No, no, I'm in the house during the I'm in a house. I'm in a shop. Oh, I'm in the house during the summertime. I never go outside in the summertime. I'm in the house. I don't. I don't like the it, sun. Yeah. I don't drive around. I'm at the shop. I don't drive around, but I be outside. Yeah, I don't, I don't be outside. But I know when to move the fuck around. Oh my life, you gotta know when to go. I'm yeah, a night guy. I'm a night type. Go. I'm a night type of guy. I like to move around in the nighttime. So today, That's y'all, it. we talking about learn to love yourself first. Love to learn yourself first. And learn to love your craft or your skill before you get into a business with it. Okay. So you like to if you like to cook. It'd be real good to actually have a passion for cooking mm-hmm. before you decide to open up a restaurant. In our case, we are all barbers and stylists, so I, I believe that we all love what it is we do. So we want to talk about that. And then we also want to talk about when it comes to relationships, why is it important to love yourself before you, do, before you try to make someone else love you or before you try to focus on loving somebody else. We're going to start with the kick it up, pick no it up. Oh, they can't hear us? We want to kick it. We want to start off with the um, the icebreaker. You guys ready for the icebreaker? Yeah. I say, are you ready for the icebreaker? Yes. Are you ready, buddy? Hey, you ain't noticed that, did you? We up on the board, second row. You see it? You see it? Second, right there by the no, court. Ain't no, we gotta use a different one, bro. That's not it. That motherfucking nice, though. Y'all ain't noticed. Oh, it, it is. Oh, yeah. Right the hair trap is moving. Is that there? Oh, okay. <sighs> we you made it. Yeah, he said something about five episodes. We didn't I thought it was ten. I thought it was ten. I thought it was ten too. He was feeling, he was feeling generous because we doing our shit. Oh, he yeah. know that. He know we ain't gonna know. We ain't gonna stop nowhere near before ten. <laughs> it's about the yes, we're gonna be on a hundred podcast one on one. Most definitely. So where we at? Check uh, it up, pick it up. Mm-hmm. We'll do two rounds of this before we get into our situation. Kick it up, pick it up. Name colors in this room. Kick it up, pick it up. Name colors in this room. Yellow. Red. You have Red. to drink. You have to it's drink. Too too long. To way too long. long. It's way too long. <laughs> 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 Replay all over again. Kick it up, pick it up. Name salons or barbershops in the city of Milwaukee. Kick it up, pick it up. Names different salons or barbershops in the city of Milwaukee. Hair Traffic Salon. Uptown. Unique one. Fresh look. Ebony Line. Good Roots. Ebony too. Jeans Clippers. Y'all are so close. Yeah! <laughs> I was a bro. I was running. I said, hold on. I don't want anyone to fuck with the best up. <laughs> Damn. Motherfuckers, y'all. That's what you have it when you be worried about somebody else about fucking doing it. Yeah. Order a roll. You're right about that. There you go. Oh, man. 
Well, what we normally do is we start off with what's been going on in your trap, talking about different businesses, promotions. We got Mother's Day around the corner, some type of sales promotion. What y'all got going on in your businesses? Uh, Autumn, what's going on in your trap? Um, same thing I spoke on last week, Mother's Day. Um, our Mother's Day discount um, did start on the 1st, which was Saturday um, or yesterday. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but it is 15% off. I did not iterate, reiterate this last time, so I'm going to make sure I say it this time. It's not 15% off all styles. It's 15% off of women and children styles. So okay. don't think that because you got dreads and you, you get what I'm saying, you ain't no mother and you definitely ain't got no kids, so you're not getting 15% off. I wore all styles on the oh, you did? But that's okay. That's why I'm reiterating yeah, now. Be, is, you got to. You got to be specific. It's, it's specifically for black women. Black folks going to try. They do. They do. Try. And that's why. <laughs> like you said, 15% no. off. I don't have somebody call me on that, and, and though. And then they're going to say your little podcast. I was watching your, your little, little podcast. podcast girl. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't little when you was watching it, though. Uh, right? Uh, right? Uh, <laughs> no, Autumn, I thought about that this damn. morning when I when I posted what I posted. I was like, Bill, should I do a percentage off some shit? I'm like, nope. Let me just. I'm going to. Let me just. Huh? Why are you doing children? Women and children. Did you say women and children? Yeah, women and children. I mean, it's Mother's Day. Day day. I know. Fuck them kids. I know. <laughs> Fuck them kids. I included the kids in my I definitely too. include the kids. It's in, about making in, it lighter for the woman. Yes, yes. The yes. Mother. making the load a little yeah. bit lighter. Kids um, get benefits all the fucking time. They need a break. You're right. <laughs> they, they need do, a break with shit. If you don't want to get your kid here done. Well, this is the mother's the break. Day. So that's yeah. that's what I'm really focused on. So the mothers. Um, so yes, I have that going. Um, but nothing stuff. else nothing else too special. That is good stuff. Um, yep. I just started one this morning, a special um pretty much not everything, but I put it on my page, so um I think frontal frontal installments will be it's a it's like forty fifty something dollars. Y'all yeah, gotta go on my page. Y'all go on my page, it's on there, I posted it. Um, what do you normally charge for a frontal? For a frontal install, eighty five. Mm. Okay, okay. For an install. Okay. So what is the frontal install? It's how much? Um, uh, let me look at my page. You want to give your information? You gonna be yep, bold? I'm going to give you my information. Mm-hmm. I am. Check it, check it in your tribe. Look and see what's up in your tribe. So, my bad, y'all. <laughs> so, I am going to have silk presses forty dollars. They are normally sixty five. Um, up downs, those are normally sixty five as well. Those are forty dollars. Um, ponytails thirty five. That's like the lowest. That's the really low. low. That's, a <laughs> That's like the, it's easy, but th- the girls are charging, which is what I charge. 65. <laughs> so you basically just got half off of that. Right. Almost. So, so, and we get them at 75. Because normally those are up there. Definitely up there. <laughs> Take a little money off. <laughs> and traditional sewing, 80. Those are normally like 120 starting out. So, yeah. I'm, that's a good. Uh, what you got going on in your trap? That is a good deal. Yeah. I, I'm going yeah. through, I was going to Facebook a few seconds ago. And I, and I go through JR Lucky's uh, page, and it's a big old <laughs> stomach on there. Uh, <laughs> JR, is you having a baby, man? Is you got a. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. man! Oh, okay. my God. Yes, Congratulations. Let me say something, though, because you got one, too. So when you when your due date? Y'all what must be doing. No. I, 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 <laughs> sorry. No, You've been uh, on my ass all day. Yes, I just read it out too bad. Pretty much. Thank yes, you. Yes, I have a baby on the way. Yay, congratulations. She, uh, I think she said she 11 weeks. She went to that's the doctor. That's all right, man. That's on Friday, Yay, she yeah. due in November, so. Wow. That's good Period. stuff. Period. Oh, what if, yeah. what if your baby born on my birthday? When's your birthday? <laughs> November 18th. What is her due date? The 10th. Oh, maybe she can last. So, are you gonna be able to go out as you used to go out? Like, is it? Is it? Let me ask the question: Is are y'all pregnant or or is she pregnant? <laughs> because I, I mean, you know, that, I, is, just because she's pregnant and she can't go out, sick. don't mean you can't go out. I mean, is I, that how it is? I've or been out, you know, without her. So yeah, I still be able to go out. You know, are you sure? Much, I can go out 
as much. But when she don't want you to go out, you just ain't going out there, right? right? Yeah, oh! there you <laughs> he finna get you the hoes. There you go. There you go. Shit, there man, you I'm go. gonna kill that nigga. That nigga. <laughs> don't hit me with that. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Listen, because you pregnant don't mean I'm pregnant. You can't go out and shake you your ass, shit. and you can't stand up and just look around. You don't mean I shit. can't go out and do my motherfucking you thing. Exactly. <laughs> He's just talking shit. He's dead. Get the fuck out now. Yeah, I'm horrible is. during pregnancy anyway. <laughs> I am. I am. I swear to God. But anyway. Okay. But yeah, but uh, other than that, uh, wow. you know, I'll be going to uh, to Houston in, in, uh, in June. And I will be yeah. cutting here in Houston. So that's, yes, really, uh, that's really it right now. When is, when is Houston? Me. I guess they doing another. No, uh, it's Milwaukee. Milwaukee so when is it? You know, uh, the uh, the fourth, okay. fifth, June. and sixth. Yes, June, June fourth, fifth, and sixth. And so, down there, you, uh, you charge. We'll be cutting. I will be charging a hundred dollars. They can book ahead of time. They can get like fifty dollars. Deposits now. Yes, so, sir. Yes, sir. I ain't taking no appointments there. I'm no appointments there. No. No. Okay. You know, yeah, you stepping into my yeah. You stepping into right. Yeah. yeah. It was right, right, right. It was hectic last time. So I'm a hundred dollars. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, he yeah. said, would you take yeah. the, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So definitely. they can convince yeah. you for, the hundred was right For the right, right, for the right yeah, price, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. can convince me for the right price. You ain't going to get it for hundred on the spot. Look, they oh, just, no, they no. just want to catch you while you looking good. You and your they girl looking go good. They going to go down there and fuck off anyway. Right, oh, yeah. So, shit. Yeah, they going to fuck off. <laughs> Pay me. Yeah. It was niggas down there with 40 Gs. It ain't nothing you can do with 40 Gs down there for two, three days. Man, Arizona, dog, them cats fucked off. Money, I, I like. I seen it. I witnessed it. Like right. they spent some cheese while down there, for real. Yeah, man. Shout out to everybody who down there uh, from Milwaukee, man, and represented down there. Y'all did definitely look Perfect. good, look good. And uh, Houston is next, and yeah. bro will be down there doing his motherfucking thing. Uh, but my trap, uh, I'm doing something for the the mothers too. I'll be cutting their uh, son's hair for Mother's Day. I got to put the uh, flyer up. I'm uh, currently working on the outside of my uh, my salon, trying to get the outside together. And I'm still looking for some faithful, good hair trappers um, that want to work and that want to be dedicated and disciplined. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it right now. That's it right now. That's what's up. Y'all ready to get into the good, the, the juicy shit? <laughs> yeah. I got a question. So we're talking about learn to love you first. Self-preservation, loving you first, and what is the reason um, that we must love our craft or our skill before we get, decide to get in a business with it, and why is it important to love yourself first? Mm -hmm. uh, so the first question we have, have you ever been with someone who loved you and didn't love them? I'm going to stop right okay. there. Have you ever been with somebody that loved the hell out of you, but they didn't really too much love them? The question would be, how did you know they didn't love them? That's my question. Go ahead. Um, I knew that he loved me more than he loved himself because I used to hurt him so much. Wow, that's good. And that's he good. would not mm -hmm. leave me alone. Wow, you're horrible. <laughs> no, you yeah. horrible. You are horrible. You're a monster. And you're able to admit that you are a freaking yeah, monster. Like, don't, you, don't do that to me because <laughs> You I, are. You feel bad about that already. I you agree. are <laughs> toxic as fuck. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it is agreed. No, listen. I definitely agree though. The half the shit that she be <laughs> saying. Like, like, you say this you a can, listen. You can't Since rage. this podcast, I've learned that you are toxic as a mother. You a like, can't like, raid. Like, I cannot believe the shit you be saying. I just told her that earlier. Dog, she said, "Look, folks." She said, "Dog." What I be saying? I said, "Oh my god." Dog. <laughs> What's that shit they put in crack now? <laughs> oh, that girl okay. that, that, that shit that motherfuckers listen, dying off of. That's some honesty for <laughs> your ass. Listen. They cutting the, they cutting the coke with you. Hey, <laughs> but it's some niggas who like the toxic, though. It's listen. not even just that. Like, I used to tell them, I told them before we got into this shit, like, to say what you want. That don't make it okay, though. It, 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 as it don't. So I definitely changed my ways. Don't do okay, that. Okay, don't do that. Okay, okay. She don't do that. Ways, so you knew that he was... He loves you more than he loved him because of the, the because of what he allowed from you. That's very honest, though. That's yeah. very honest. And I and I and I'm so honest that I I talked to him and I've apologized for shit. And he and I we're grown enough to be friends. And I told him like, damn, you are so honest now than you've ever been. I said, yeah, because I'm grown now. That's what honey. And 
<laughs> There's a lot of shit that I just wouldn't do to somebody because I've had that karma come back on me. I can't do that shit to you. I can't do that to nobody ever again. So, let me, let me ask this question. Up, like, so you're saying you can never like someone more than they like you again? Oh, no, that's Hell not true. No. No, not that. Right. I ain't saying that. I, I, what you saying I then? think she's talking about the miserable part, though. Hurting him? I was, part, I'm yeah. not going to oh. hurt somebody. I wasn't intentionally hurting him, but I was being selfish out the gate in the beginning. I didn't give a fuck about none of that. I'm not going to go into nothing like that. Right. I'm not thinking. I'm going to put myself in your shoes, too. But um, if you end up loving me more than I love you or liking me more than I like you, sometimes that's okay. Yeah, it is. <laughs> can <Give me. laughs> You do want it to be equal, though. Mm-hmm. I do. But it... I yeah. like it better when it's equal, but... It's never going to be really equal, equal. though, is yeah. it? It can't yes, be. Yes, yes, the yeah. fuck it I, is. It can, can it? it? Yeah. Can. It can't be. I think, okay, so you telling me that I'm you, not, love not, your, not, you, you like or love your woman more than she... I think y'all no, are equal. No, I definitely... Yeah. It's, it's equal. So when it's like yeah, a friendship, it's equal, when it's, it's equal, like a yeah. friendship and y'all right. like, y'all, 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 it's like, oh, it's, it's natural, like a natural film. That shit is yeah. even. Like honey, even, honey, y'all yeah. both want it. Like, yeah, yeah. So that's how you... Yeah, you're right, you're right. You're that's right. good. No, I ain't think of it like that. JR. What's up? You ever been in a situation where someone loved you more than they loved them? Uh, how did you know? How did it make you feel? How did it make me feel? Okay, it had to be, let me see, my my last little relationship with my baby. You said your last little relationship? <laughs> <laughs> my last relationship. <laughs> we always put little on so. <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, I'm saying she would just allow me to just do whatever. Bro. And that's how Damn. we know, isn't it? Ain't that something? No, that's how we know you don't really love yourself. Damn, but I fucked wasn't up, bro. Okay, okay. I wasn't. What's wrong with us? Not sure though. Reckless with it, but I was reckless. You, you know, didn't really care, reckless. but you was nonchalant about it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like and you weren't gonna tell her you wasn't doing it, but right, right, like right, shit. If you yeah. find out, then hey, right, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, but, hey. Uh, yeah, I'm so, I was doing. I man, I was doing what you want. I had my way. I was having my way. That shit fucked up. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna do y'all. I'm gonna do y'all. Like, yeah. Do you think she was doing her thing? Was it that? Was well, she? Mm-hmm. she her thing? I, okay, okay. I, honestly, I think y'all some it terrible was, human <laughs> beings. No, no. Listen, I think it was. <laughs> he just talking shit because he got more experience than all. No, of I us. think it was her. I was listening. Some uh, I think okay, she was, nice. was guilty. Mm, I, what? I, I, I heard that dig. Uh, back when I was locked up, no, a lot did. of shit happened. Okay, mm-hmm. did her thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's what it be too. And I ain't gonna lie, I kind of took advantage. Of course, of the like, as you should, my boy. I was locked up, so <laughs> that's I'm why I ain't shit. No, but saying, that's so, why I ain't shit because niggas that's y'all what take it, that yeah, shit that's and what then good job. You're supposed to take advantage of that. But you can, but are you a promiscuous? Are you rubbing in her face or no, no shit like that? No, but, but I, you could I if you wanted to. When it was convenient for I you, I definitely pushed the you envelope. Should've. I ain't gonna, I definitely. Hell yeah, let me come in at 4 o'clock in the morning. You got a problem Bro, with it. I was coming in at 6. Yeah, you, know you better take it too. <laughs> Wasn't you a hoe when I was locked up? Wasn't take you a hoe? <laughs> I come home, <laughs> take a shower, leave out and go to the shop. I'm go. I'm going to the shop now. But yeah, I definitely pushed the envelope a lot. That's why you can't really be with somebody. After you done did something, and they still stay with you, depending on that person, you can't be with them, man. Bro, they I, would never forgive you. I again. said that. It's I said, I swear to you God, You can't make I me feel like that. that. I swear over. to God, I said that for real. I'm not like, going to keep real. on trying to win your trust. Right. You got like 30, 60 days. And if I can't win it within 60 Once days, you, I'm going to I swear to God, I said that before, bro. Fuck like, up. I wish, I wish, I wish. Once you fuck up. It's, it's, it's damn yeah, there. You might as well just, I okay, wish. I'm going to go over here. You know, really go cool. over there. Yeah. Because I'm never going to hit the end of this. I, yeah. I, I, wish, I wish that. I wish that's that. possible, though. There's females. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely because possible. I, I'm one of those like females. Possible. I definitely I like that. that. I, I definitely wish. forgive him. Okay. I don't and I don't bring up oh shit, it happened, it happened. And if it was if I had that much of a problem with it, I wouldn't have left. I'm not right, gonna keep right. bringing it up. Okay, That's good. but I'm gonna tell you that. why that fucks you up in the well, why it fucked me. I'm not gonna say anybody else. You're but, toxic ass. Go no, ahead. It's not, <laughs> go ahead, it's go not, ahead. Go ahead. That, just, I've had toxic shit happen to me which turned me into that way. Okay. And then it was like once I started with that one, I 
did the flip around with that nigga, I just couldn't stop. Like, every nigga had to pay. Like, you got to pay. Damn. Like, Fuck you, okay? Right. You got to pay. But no, oh, long story feel. short, the whole forgive it, I tried that. I am very forgiving. And I still forgive this man for right. all the hurt that he brought to me and all the toxic that he did bring in my life and mm. that I dished out to other people that I had to apologize. I had to accept apologies that I never got. Right. And that's okay. And then when, by the time he did apologize, I said, the first thing I said, what you apologizing for? Now you apologize. I don't even know what the fuck you apologize for because I already, already accepted the shit already and I already moved on. So I wish he would have thought like that, like, damn, ain't no coming back from certain shit. Yeah, because you know hurt, hurt people hurt people. Because you hurt, yeah. exactly. And, it, hurt and that is people. that. Yeah. And, and now that I've healed from a lot of exactly. the hurt, it was, I felt like I was strong enough to go to my ex and tell him, okay, I'm sorry for what I put you through exactly. because of what I've been through. And if I did it to anybody else, I can't, I can't go you to you and tell you I'm sorry, you? but I'm sorry. Um, you know what? I can't, honestly, I'm so 100. I don't care if he forgave me. I forgave me. Right. right. That's what it's about. <laughs> I don't right. care if you do that's or you don't. About. Like, I, but I gotta make, I'm I gotta happy. Like, like, I'm really happy within myself. That's how you know yeah. you are happy when you can admit certain that's things right. and when you can forgive yourself for mm-hmm. things. They say the process you is yourself you ask God for forgiveness, yes. you ask yourself for forgiveness, then you ask the person you offended for forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and if you, you, if you can take it how you want to take it. Right. If you take it, take it. If not, okay, I gotta That's move a really good process. I like what you were saying. That's that's for men too. And I say it all the time. Real players and I when I say or womenizers, niggas who feel like they know women or who have multiple women. Let me tell you something. The truth is them brothers don't really want to be players. You know why we be mad? We don't be mad cuz women ain't shit. Mm-hmm. We be mad because we ain't wrong about women sometimes. It's like I want to be wrong about you. I I want to believe that you can't put every woman, every ain't woman the same. in that category. No, you, but I'm not I ain't saying every woman. But a lot of times, niggas be mad that game works. They be mad being nonchalant works. We be mad playing certain games works. We be mad about that. We do. And, and that's what it's a lot of times, niggas like, God damn, I got to do this shit like this. I mean, you know, bullshit, bro. Like, motherfucker, that's not all the time. But a lot of times, niggas do be upset about that. All them relationships, love. Mm. Have you ever been with someone who loved you more? Yeah. And how did you know? Um, I'm going I'm to just touch on this because this is... Um, <laughs> it's not like it was something recent. I'm not toxic, okay? But I definitely was... A little was, bit. I was little definitely bit. being very mean in my relationship. And this wow. man still adored me. Still adored me to toxic, this day bitch. without even knowing... It wasn't... It wasn't... <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> let me tell y'all something. It was... It was... It was... It was um, it was it was like a almost like a miserable situation. Wow. Like I was I, I was I was falling out of love or you know didn't love him as much as I did in the beginning. And um, the only reason why I knew was because he was naming things about myself that I was expecting him to love me for, but I couldn't even love myself for it. Mm. So it was really just me, yeah. you know. Like we'll get into it and he'll say something like, "How you expect me to da 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 da?" da and I'll be like. Whoa. I thought you were supposed to do that. Whoa. You know what? That's deep. <laughs> like, damn, that's I ain't even think about deep. that to do to myself. That you get what I'm saying? That's deep. Um, that's I deep. Just, yeah. yeah. I ain't never really had no man. I, I, I don't know how to explain this. You can't tell. You can't love something about me more than me. More than I love it. Yeah. Me. There's no man that ever been no, ever. You can't. But I can tell you one thing. There's a man who pointed a lot of shit out Correct. about me that I was that I was out mm-hmm. here doing. I'm like, mm-hmm. how you know? Like, how you peep that out? And I fell in love with that because you paid attention to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You paid attention to me enough to learn me that nice. fast. Like, damn. I would. Like, I I was with in a situation. I've been in a situation where. I've been to both sides of the fence. So I've been with somebody that loved yeah, me. Yeah, definitely been on both sides. Loved me more than than um, I love them. And they love me more than they love them. Mm-hmm. It's very irritating. It is fucking it's irritating. It's very irritating. irritating because this person is so clingy. And I'm a person who I want my woman to be focused on shit. Like, I don't want you all up under me. I don't, I don't need that. You know what I mean? So, like, I really, I like for us to go, boom, and then we come back and end our day together or something mm-hmm. like that. You know what I mean? I don't right. want you... Space. Around me a lot, yeah. I need mm-hmm. my space. 
I want you to have you a sorority. I want you to have you a group of girls. I want you to have a family. I'm not the type of nigga that's going to take you from your family. I love that y'all are together. Stay together. Be together. <laughs> More time you away from me. I'll do what the fuck I want to do. That's, no. that's exactly what that sounds no, like. No, that's not what's happening. But, no, no, no. but coming out. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Mean, I'm saying coming no. out his mouth. That's exactly I'm what like it sounds that like. I'm like that too. I want you to. Uh, I'm like that too. Friends, but I'm saying the way he's saying it. Your family, you know your work, like, work like, all that away. shit. Don't. Go don't, away, right? Don't shoot be up me all the Beat time. Beat it. Like that. <laughs> Go have a life. Right. Yeah. Females but, are like but, that. But see, too. the thing is, too, though, my love language, and this is so crazy, like I fall in love with growth and development. So yeah. I fall in love with a person. At, I fall in love with a person as they grow mm-hmm. in themselves. So I don't really fall in love about what you do for me. I mean, I, I, really, what makes me fall in love with individual prosperity? Pro- yes, yeah. the, the, that's right. Mm-hmm. The fact that you create shit in your mind that oh, you want to do and you and knock you your it. goals down mm-hmm. from afar. I am your fan. I, I admire I that type of right. shit. So that's, that's what makes me fall in love. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. It that's should. how it's supposed yeah. to be. It should be. Mm-hmm. It should. That's authentically yeah. loving somebody. Yeah. So that's. I mean, I, I love. I fall in love like that. So I've been in situations like that, and I've been in situations where I didn't love myself. And to me, not loving yourself means I didn't know myself. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't know my I didn't know my yeah. identity, nor did I yeah, understand my purpose while I was here. I went in tune with me, mm-hmm. so I was into it with somebody, and I wanted them to love me, but I didn't even know well, me. I didn't love right. me. Mm-hmm. And, and the question is, what do you do to love yourself? What are some of the things you can do? How can a person do things to um, love themselves? What I do, what I like to do. And this might sound strange. I, it ain't strange. I'm a girl. I like to get my hair, just get my hair and nails and stuff done. Because, yeah, like, self-care. right after I got out, the, out of the hospital, honestly, I feel, like, so ugly. I'm like, damn, bro. Yeah. Like, um, like this shit tearing me up. Like, everybody keep telling me, like, you will be all right. That. It's going to be straight. You this I, I don't give a fuck about what you talk about. I feel ugly. You know what I'm saying? That's how I together. feel. Mm-hmm. First right. thing I did, like, I, don't know, I went and got my nails and my toes done. Anybody that it's starts off a sentence with, I'm not toxic, they usually are. Because I'm they, not. Is toxic. But, okay. <laughs> I agree, I'm I agree not with that. I'm Anybody that starts a sentence off, I ain't toxic. But I'm not toxic. Not toxic. It was that one relationship. That's how people be, though. That's the majority of women that say I'm not toxic. It was be. because I was, okay, but that's because I was falling Y'all don't even out know of love. It ain't got is, nothing to do with Y'all don't even know what toxic is. I didn't know what toxic is. I'm toxic, but I can admit it. And I'm trying to. Everybody is a little. Toxic. Yeah, a little toxic at times. Yeah, in a good way. In a good way. You should want to be. Started in the 80s. We yeah. going to blame y'all. When you, there when we you, go. I think <laughs> another thing, uh, so Taylor said building the confidence or uh, having self-love comes mm-hmm. from, you know, definitely getting yourself together. You know what I mean? Had your nails done, shows done. You mm-hmm. feel good. And then because people tell you that. Another thing for me, what I've learned that builds my, that love for, each, for, for myself is, Setting goals and accomplishing them. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Daily daily goals, yeah. weekly goals, monthly goals. Mm-hmm. And the more the more goals that I accomplish within my life daily or weekly, the more I feel good about myself. Good about mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And because well, I'm telling you the con- on the contrary, if you tell yourself you're gonna accomplish something and you don't, you feel bad about yourself. Right. Yeah. If right. you say you're not you in a, put in yourself less, down. You put yourself down. And let's mm-hmm. say you do that shit often. Right. You like you don't yeah, it no, ain't no. that you lie to people. You lie to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You gonna eventually <laughs> not feel good about yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that um forgiving yourself, we just talked about that. Forgiving yourself and also knowing that um not everybody gonna love you and not everybody has to. Yeah, oh that, that no, that's good that right is, there. That, that, is, is, that, that they don't have they to. They don't have to. Oh, that's good. Um that. once I came in realization with that, because I was so uh like adamant on people. Liking me, like right, once yeah. I came and you know I got more in tune with that, it was it just made shit so much easier. That's good. You know so what, what, what works for me is um, I, I pulled this out. I bought this so I can write down my mm-hmm. shit and then cross it off. That's right. That's because what happens thing, is yeah. people who if you don't write it down and people you might be somebody you with or somebody that you close to. They'll claim that you ain't doing shit. And right. you start believing this shit because yeah. you're like, damn, right. I didn't do that shit. You start bringing mm-hmm. bring yourself down. I'll be like, Facts, no, I, no, fuck, I, I did plenty of shit. <laughs> I'm about checklist, <laughs> bitch. Right, right. Check my check off list. <laughs> right. I swear to God, brother. Right. I, I didn't write down, people. check this bitch in here. So I can write it, check that off too. <laughs> if you check, if you, <laughs> all right, oh, no. If you, check, if you got 10 things to do and you check off seven or eight before you go to bed, you're going to feel good about yourself. Yeah. I promise yeah. you, bro. I'm and just carry that shit. That simple shit. Like go to the DMV. You know, get before, this. Okay, get your oil changed. Get my oil changed. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like, get my yeah. car detailed. Call my I mean, it's That's just right. anything. Call, you know. the, call, the, call the place call the, about yeah. getting my motherfucking Make credit doctor's together. appointments. Yeah, just so anything. Right. It's yeah. all. Yeah, you're that all right. builds your self-love. Oh, yeah, if it feels good, you cross that shit. Shit, I write that. Right. Take Spanish. 
Like learn right. Spanish. Mm. I probably ain't gonna do it this week, but I keep on reminding myself I gotta at least download this app right. or some shit. Like you mm-hmm. gotta do something towards it, That's and you right. knock that shit off. And like, nigga, I, I be accomplishing shit. Working out and losing weight, actually working out, mm-hmm. being consistent. I've learned to take pride in being consistent. <laughs> I was working a job. And I never was consistent at shit, bro. Like, that's why I found that about myself. Like, bro, I, women want to wonder why I'm not committed to them. I'm like, bitch, I'm not committed with nothing. It ain't got nothing to do with you. That's when, that's when I learned that commitment, that trait is transferable. So if you're trying to find out if a person can be committed to you, all you got to do is find out if they've been committed to anything else in their life. So I was at a place when I was working, I wasn't making a whole lot of money. It wasn't no bad money either, but I it wasn't about that for me, bro. I was fucking 31 and I finally had a job. I liked it to have my fucking lunch box and going to work. And <laughs> I felt like a fucking man, bro. I yeah. did. I, and then I, what I really liked about it, that's why I was able to keep the job. I loved doing what my body didn't want to do. Mm-hmm. I loved overcoming how I fucking feel. Mm-hmm. Right. I didn't feel like getting up. I'm like, fuck you, nigga. Well, we gone. We got to get this check. Right. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, fuck yeah, you. I got yeah. to take, take, take care of. Oh, so it was that mind over matter thing for me, and mm-hmm. I never was consistent with that. So I, I, I fucking loved that, and it made me feel good about myself. It really did. Yeah. It really did. Let you know I can I can stick to something. I can do it. And that's transferable. Like, not just with a job. I can do this shit with a business. Mm-hmm. I can do this shit with anything in my life. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's really Thanks. good, man. That's good. What about mm-hmm. you, JR? What you feel like? Um, what question? The loving. Someone loving you. I think JR I think he's that. stuck on that. No, we don't know him. Why is yeah, it important? Go. Oh, go ahead. Go why ahead. is it important for someone... To love themselves first. What's, <clears throat> what does this mean to you? Okay. It's important because that means that you can take other people you know, as serious you know, as you take yourself. Facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? If I don't love me, I can't love you or you. Right. I can't love nobody. Mm-hmm. So, it, I mean, it's definitely all about self first. Yeah, man. Then you can love the next person. Mm-hmm. That's real. That That's real. is very real. That just go back to what I said with the shit before like don't let me do whatever like yes let me do me but don't let me do whatever like don't right. let me get away with whatever shit if I'm fucking up Be on bitch my I, got, I love myself too much to deal with your shit I'm out <laughs> right and then I did I'm gonna pipe down like okay okay okay, okay. <laughs> let me okay I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna not do that and I swear to god like I really had somebody do that like uh uh-uh. uh you you doing too much. I'm not gonna fuck with you. You do too much. Right. I'm like, okay, okay. Right. <laughs> you, you can try to see right, what you can do. Right, right. Man, you love yourself. You got morals, nigga. Yeah, you got morals. I like it. I like oh, I it. I can't do. Oh, what fuck can't do anything like to you, huh? Hell no. <laughs> That's sexy though. That's sexy. Hell yeah, but like you gotta be fucked up. I'm tough. Right, I, yeah. Bitch told me that I thought she be live. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you just said that shit. We ain't fuck yet. You just crazy. Well, fucking fuck, she still stood on that shit. I said, damn. Okay, bitch, you love yourself, huh? <laughs> don't nobody want nobody you can just run over, though. run over, like. Oh, you know, right. damn, bitch. That's not snap. fun. Do That's something. Right. You know, just stop. You toxic as a bitch. You toxic as a bitch. I think we're all toxic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just. Who was that that said? They were. Uh, who was that that said argue with him? Niggas love a toxic bitch. Who said that? Um, gotta argue gotta with him because a nigga, yeah. nigga love a toxic oh, bitch. Oh, yeah. 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 Call you said that. Crazy. Gotta no, argue with him because a nigga love like, a toxic bitch. Don't like, argue with me, though. Don't argue with me. Do what the fuck I say. Argue, but they they speak what up. You say, say something sometimes. Damn, don't just. What do you say? Who likes skin women? Who likes skin? I don't like skin. What do you say? The most toxic creatures. Oh, fuck you. You trying to find out? Because I'm trying to see some. I'm trying, I'm oh, try, I'm trying to see. Oh, don't do that. Who is that? It's on you. It's That's on your you, friend. Um, Why is it important for someone to love themselves first before they come to you? I'm trying to love on you. Because you got to. I just, I ain't got time for it. Only because, um, like Taja just said, I love myself too much. You just mm-hmm. got to, you got to love yourself. I mean, you can't focus too much on me. Right. You can't be too much under me because right. I will cut you off real quick. I've done it. Um, Ooh, I've done child. it. And Ain't that I, love though? Somebody wants so to y'all don't like the niggas too clingy I, though. No, no, don't no, like no, no he's not too clingy. Uh, what is too clingy? Right, bro. Give me some space when we together and we got time. Then yeah, we can, you could kiss on me and all that. I want to be with you every day. <laughs> Hell no, I want to talk. You so would talk. you be cool with your nigga being at the shop with you all day? At the shop with me, yeah, because we both hustling. No, 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 no,
what the fuck did you do and join the view of bitches walking in? Like, what did you? Like, no, he there for you. Am I yeah. me? Okay, but you're staring at me. Work. Like, <laughs> but I don't think somebody do that for me. Come on now. Toxic. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> It's cute to do it for a day if you ain't got shit yeah, to do, no, baby. I ain't got nothing day. to do. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to bring you lunch. Yeah. We're going to sit talk when you got time man. in between. Yeah, you know, every lunch. now and then. No, he one time, four two hours times, a day. that's yeah. cool. Four, four hours, hours a day. He trying to do this shit four hours a day. No. You know how much money you can make in four hours a day? Get the fuck out. Can I say this, though? What if he a hustler and he just use your shop? As a place he gumped to before his phone ring. Well, baby, you making your money oh, before your yeah, phone yeah, ring? Yeah, yeah. He ain't having his that. phone for the ring at 10, 15 minutes, though. You know what I mean? They're but you not, done sat here for four hours. He, no, he there for about he 20, 30 minutes. Though. That's fine. He get money. Every time he leaves, he going to catch a plate. You coming to see me, okay? He catching his plate, then he coming back. And then you getting out. Okay. Oh, okay so go. long as he making I'm money, you don't mind. I'm the same way with my house. You're not finna sit in my house all day. No, you know what I'm saying? But he can turn to a drug house. I said, what if it's his off day, though? not that either. What if it's his off day? If it's your off day, that's I'm I'm you shit you to if it's your day. off day, that's fine. But still, on your off day, you need to be thinking or freaking out some type of way to make money because it, you get what I'm saying. If you a hustler, ain't no free time. Ain't no, ain't no free day. I ain't no off like day that. when you a hustler. You I get what I'm saying? Agree with ain't that. No off I day work day every day. I don't have thing. no. If you ain't no walking up to me and physically being like, "Look, babe, look at this new idea," or let me tell you about, then you go do something with yourself. Would y'all have y'all ever been confused as gold diggers though? No. No, no way. Because I don't act. I have. I have. You I have. have. Wow. So you're a gold digger too? No. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Their mentality is gold diggerish. You, know. you guys have I, I, gold I, I, diggerish mentalities. I will, I will explain. So I was working with this dude. We ended up fucking with each other. Now, mind you, I'm a tip. I was only making like $10. He was making 16 Right. So now all the bitches, like, because I told him, like, you got to stop talking to me. <laughs> and I felt like that because the I they, these bitches was my friends and I know what kind of what them they was gold diggers. The bitch told me if you fuck with him, he gonna cash out on you. Right. But I liked it him genuinely. Like I, I'm like I like him because he don't talk to nobody. Right. But, but I ain't gonna lie when she put that bug in my ear. It bitch, helped. I, that, that's that, it helped, but not really. I, it helped because I knew like this bitch already. She thinking like that, so if I don't hop on it, she gonna hop on it. But I really like him. This bitch want a bag. Right. I don't want a bag. So when I was fucking with him the whole time, they kept telling tell him like, oh, she just wants you for your money. Whole four years went by. We was fucking with each other. I ended up making more money than him. What money? Right. And I was. And it's the same nigga that wouldn't wouldn't help supply for my hair. Okay. I'm a hustler, uh, bitch. You can't tell me I'm I'm working here and doing here, bitch. I still was making more money than him in reality. No, no that's not so, gold diggers. So yeah, I've been I've been calling gold diggers, gold diggers, and all that gold shit. But I come from money. My daddy, my mama. Uh, she I mean, used that gentleman too, but <laughs> I've had plenty that. females. I don't need no money, nobody. For I've had plenty females try to get me to talk to niggas for their money. I don't want no nigga for their money. He got money, girl. Oh, he right. The fuck that's supposed to mean. It's important for you to love yourself. Um, definitely, because, like we all just admitted, it is very irritating when you got somebody who's just easy to walk over. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, they yes, just yes, woman, no. they don't. They don't love themselves, so they don't even have anything going on outside of you. Mm-hmm. Right, you are no their world. That's, you're their interest. You're their that's, ambition. That's Everything, that work, that's horrible. It's bro. making me want to like... It's like, get the fuck away from me. Like, like, you, you're like, too nice. That's the motherfucker that get, get dumped for being too nice, <laughs> I guess. Go get you something to it do. You gotta have you something to do. You're too sweet. That's you're too right. sweet for me. When it comes to business, okay, why is it important? Why is it important for you to actually like love what you do? Like, Let me say this. And not love. On this first. Go ahead. Go ahead. I feel like, first of all, we talked about the inconsistencies when it comes to you working. I feel like if you don't love what you do, you're not going to put your all in. That's what it is. You're not going to want to invest in it. Before I started working for myself, I, I, I ain't never kept no job longer than a year. Because it was never something that, that I wanted love. to do. I'm getting right. paid at a base pay of fourteen, fifteen dollars an hour. I'm doing shit that's not on my job description. I gotta be here earlier than what I'm normally. You get what I'm right. saying? Waking up to. I got the yeah. It come with benefits like PTO, vacation time, blase, blase. Mm-hmm. But when you when you actually love what you do, it's not a job. When you love what you do, it's not a burden. When you love what you do, like I like I told y'all, I'm very big on art. 
You know, so when you are, when you an artist, you gonna go to the store and make sure you got the best pencils, mm-hmm. the best. You know what I'm saying? You gonna look that shit up, make sure your shading and shit is perfect. Like you gonna get that shit because you want it. Right. Versus. That's right. Not loving what you do. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be miserable. It's right. definitely That's gonna be miserable. Fair. You're not gonna invest in yourself. You're not gonna. You're not gonna even want to take the time and day to improve or or want to get better. That's right. You're not um, gonna take it serious. You can't. You ain't gonna take it serious. You, you have to endure. You be lazy. That shit gonna last for a year. You I know tell them all the time. One or two years, I was in the shop doing absolutely nothing. As an apprentice, bro, it was times. It was so many days I made nothing. It don't make no fucking yeah. sense. Yeah. It was so many days I made sixty dollars. Mm-hmm. And I'm watching my make a thousand. Get lunch, you know, right, like exactly. it's been, it's been, or enough to just get home. And I ain't never <laughs> got been, discouraged by it. You never, know what I'm saying? Never got discouraged. You have by to it. love the what art. What you do? You have to love what you do mm-hmm. to get through that phase. I, I can honestly say, like, if I would have, if I didn't love what I do after hair school, honestly, I would have just said fuck it. Hell yeah. Because when I say nobody would tip us, like you had some day, and I was paying for school out of pocket, so it was like, oh, yeah. damn, you had like, to love that shit. <laughs> I had to. There was like, no I'm paying for wage. school. Yeah. Like, and I'm working this little weak ass job. Like, yeah. it was a little job I was working at Home Depot. Like, yeah. I'm working this little job right after work. I'm, I'm working. I'm job. at school. I'm no, for real, because I'm at school during work hours where I will be getting real money, which means I can't work. So when I work, it's second shift and it's only like four or five hours until closing. That's not no real money. So I have to love what I do. It's not even just a have to love what I do. I love what you should I want to love like, what you do. I really do like. Mm-hmm. Let's go into deeper with it, right? Because I was talking to a guy of mine. He's interested in becoming an apprentice. He went a lot of cut. You know? He has raw skill with it. And he said, I talked to him about this. Now, we have to love what you do. And I'm like, what is it? I'm like, well, it's not actually that you love being another nigga head. It's not that. I think what it is with me. It takes stress away. It's, it's like a meditation. Art. It's an art, mm-hmm. man. It's, 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 it's definitely it's a meditation definitely an art for me. to see. What you gonna say? Cause I, I'm gonna say this, and I know we gonna oh, like. Yes, uh, it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to see some transform. Yeah. From, yes. from, from beginning to end. There you go. There from you go. from you looking all that ass that mess is, that is to amazing. I did that, that shit. Is That's what you have I a love, love for. Bro. I love it. I Creating. Love it. We the all same got, feeling you're I a get, creator. The same there feeling I get when I get myself dolled up. Yeah. When I get my own nails done. When I, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yes, man, man, when I look in the mirror, like, I'm the baddest. Like, you increase somebody's confidence. Like, too, I be happy and you get paid for increasing somebody's confidence? I get paid I for increasing your confidence. I feel good when I'm Ain't increasing that something? somebody else's confidence. Like, damn, you look y'all good, girl. What the fuck I look like? Yeah, it's crazy. So, crazy. Imagine, shut up. So imagine. Let Oh, shit. Shut up, though. Yeah, and let this see. You ain't got no problem. I would never show somebody that. <laughs> I don't know how you able to do that shit. You ain't shit. Well, yeah, man, to take a canvas that's right. from nothing to something. That's I love it. it. Yeah, I man. Love it. I love that. And that's because you're a god. You know, we all are we all are gods made in his image. So being a creator is one of the, that's man. one of the for sure signs of being a god is that you have the ability to create. And um, that's what we do. That's what we do, man. And, and you when get I'm paid out and about and I see my work, like, yeah, I did that. Man, yeah, cut, that shit feels good. Him, I, I cut him, y'all, I cut him. Yes, like, y'all. That shit feeling good. The biggest thing for me is I'm not on nobody else's time but my own. <laughs> no, for real. Like, I could go out and enjoy myself not that, knowing bro. I got to be up at 7 o'clock in the morning and it's my last strike because I done already got written up three times. Bro, you know exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. the bro, 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 that's what I, can I, I say, don't give a fuck. Fire me because I got to hustle. What? Listen. Oh. <laughs> going to the shop me, at 11, 11 in the morning. You see people going to the job they probably don't like. And you got, you know... And you you straight, though. Like, you, you know, your bank account is good. You know, your pocket's good a little bit. You straight, man. And you ain't doing what you don't want to do. Right. That right there, bro. That's that's, that's really that's, goals. that's goals. It is, bro. Yeah. It is, bro. You ain't doing what you love. What is you doing? It's Man. I didn't I didn't been in a position where I was doing what I did, what I didn't love, and it's uh it makes you older faster. Yeah. It makes you depressed. wiser, not older. You know, older when you're doing what you don't love. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because of stress. Going, it's stress. Exactly. It's stressful. It's exactly. When you're doing what you Depressing. love, like when people do yoga and all that stuff, they look younger. They look, yeah. you know. I, I hated my last you glow. job. I was happy when they fired me. Well, I bet. Uh, it hit me. It hit me like, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah. <laughs> but then I was like, mm-hmm. nah, I got my hustle. Right. I'm good. Fuck that, job. Job. <laughs> fuck that job. Fuck that job. Fuck that job. You know how many times I done said, fuck that job. Like. <laughs> Just because I know my resume is good as a bitch. Just because I know I'm going to get another one. Exactly. No 
cat out them. This real. though, this what I do now, it ain't it ain't no fuck that nothing. It's like no, we gonna yeah, get this. No, we gonna get it. it. Mm-hmm. It's you. It's a part of Shout you. Shout out to everybody who's in the stylist and barber industry. Or just make money every day. Do what they love to do. Shout out to everybody that's making money, operating a gift for their purpose, and that's what today we were talking about. Before you get into a relationship, focus on yourself. Learn to love yourself. Uh, come up with daily things to do. Scratch them off your list so that you can be focused on getting where you want to be so that you will get the confidence it takes to love yourself. And when it comes to your trade, when it comes to your craft, to your skill, man, have a love for it. Have a passion for it. And as we said, you're going to need that passion, that love, because you're going to have to focus on being en- enduring mm-hmm. the hard times, exactly. the bored times. When you love what you do, yeah. you will continue to do it. You will never get bored with it, mm-hmm. but only getting better with what that is. Exactly, exactly. And they say yeah. if you find out what you, if you find it, something that you love to do, and you do that, mm-hmm. you'll never work a day in your life. And that's yeah. true. Yeah. And it ain't work for us. I mean, it's, it's not. <laughs> Look what it's bro not. got on. Look what he uh, fucking wearing. Right. Look what you guys like, can wear. On. You can be cute. You can do everything you want to do. Not while just you that, but you're in charge of every. Like you're literally in charge of everything. You're in charge of how much you make an hour too. Yeah. Oh my god. That's the best part. I'm not capped out at fourteen dollars an hour. You know what I'm saying? I could be making fifty dollars an hour. I could be making twenty two dollars an hour. Whatever the fuck I want to do. Love it. Love it. Got to love it. I'm freaking tired all the while. It's been a long week. It has. It has been a long yeah, week. We will definitely so what see y'all do this weekend. Uh, I, just, I do what I always do. I'm tired, but I ain't tired as y'all though. I'm, I'm not like see, I'm tired. I I got had, a baby I've had a lot so. of meetings and, 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 and <laughs> right. things to go to, so it was a it's a lot of um. Is, and then trying to fit in what I still want to do. Right. So it was a lot of just being up, just constantly, just, work, you know, work obligations, needs, pretty much. Yeah. Like kicking in. I ain't tired. I'm, I'm not tired. I'm just high. Yeah. Lit. Right. <laughs> I'm high, guys. I'm high off life. There you go. High off life. High off life. High meds. Oh. I know, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Who hired off this? Oh, <laughs> no, She's like, mmm. All right. Cannabis. That's this time. We're going to end it to episode nine. See y'all again. You are now about to hear the hair track. And you are about to get your soul snatched. Right here on Hair Trappers and Soul Snatched.